This segment of Panther Sports Talk is brought to you by Lincoln Savings Bank. At home in Iowa, at work for you. In a matchup between two top ten teams, number four Illinois State hosted number six UNI and the Stanley Cup. Illinois State would get on the scoreboard first, marching their opening drive into the end zone with a one-yard run by Marshawn Coprich. After a third down stop, UNI was whistled for an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty, then a pass interference. The Redbirds would tack on another Coppridge TD, this time from two yards out. UNI's defense would tighten things up and turn the tables when Tim Kilfoy stepped in front of an Illinois State pass. The 27-yard return gave UNI the ball at the Illinois State 45-yard line. On the next play, with Michael Malloy in motion before the snap, Aaron Bailey's play-action fake to Savon Huggins got the defense to bite and opened up the middle of the field for a 45-yard TD pass from Bailey to Malloy to make it a one-possession game, 14-7. But Illinois State added a Jamal Towns 10-yard TD before halftime to hold a 14-point lead going into the break. You and I found some momentum in the third quarter as Rashidim Gray got his hand on a punt, deflecting it to the sideline for just a nine-yard net punt. That set up a short field for the U and I offense. But the Redbird defense played big when they needed to, delivering two sacks to keep U and I out of the end zone as they came away with just three points. Michael Schmadicky from 25 yards out. Still trailing 21-10, UNI turned to Sawyer Cole Morgan at quarterback in the fourth quarter. And then it was Tyvis Smith, the leading rusher on the day, that sparked the offense. He delivered 39 of the 58 yards in a drive, including this 16-yard carry. But the result of the drive was a missed field goal by UNI. The UNI defense allowed just 50 yards of total offense in the second half, turning in one of their best 30 minutes of play on the year. Carter Schultz forced a fourth quarter fumble that was recovered by Deshaun Dexter to give UNI a short field once again. The Panthers would get one more field goal as Schmadeke was good from 35 yards out to make it 21-13. But the clock would run out on the Panthers as number four, Illinois State, beat sixth-ranked UNI in front of a sold-out Redbird home crowd. 